Hi, my name is David DeGloria. I'm a junior here at USC. I'm originally from Waterford, Connecticut, and I'm majoring in chemical engineering with an emphasis in petroleum. I think chemical engineering might be the hardest engineering subject to try to define. Um, it's definitely very broad. You can apply it in many different industries. I mean, from cosmetics to uh, natural gas resources or petroleum to environmental considerations. Um, but if I had to try to wrap it up, I would say it's kind of the application of basic chemistry concepts you learn between you know interaction and reactions of molecules and kind of taking that information and applying it on a massive scale for production purposes. So with my petroleum emphasis, it's essentially uh, an additional or optional four classes, uh, upper division classes you can take in chemical engineering. And essentially what they do is they take kind of the, the broad chemical engineering information that you get in your normal classes and they try to focus it down to a topic of interest for you. So in this case, you'd be learning um, about how petroleum is stored in the ground, a little bit about rock formations, um, and then learning about the different techniques to recover the oil and then refine it into something that's going to be uh, commercially feasible. When I was in high school, I was definitely more of a math science type of guy. Um, so and my like favorite subject I found to be chemistry. chemistry, but at the same time, not really in a theoretical sense, more of a practical sense, looking at things on a, a very large macroscopic scale. I actually just decided to take the petroleum emphasis um, my second semester of sophomore year. It was kind of a recent decision. Um, and it really came because I'm interested in um, the energy field. I recognize it as kind of a, a global issue right now that we need to address. And uh, there's still a lot of improvements to be made. So it's, it's definitely a field where there's a lot of demand and it's very interesting. Uh, I'd like to continue to stay in the petroleum industry and work in a reservoir engineering position, which is where you look at new land and assets that have been acquired and you try to use the information you gather to make predictions about what type of products you're going to be able to produce. So it's kind of a little bit of a predicting and making a model type of position, which is really interesting to me. This year I was um, stayed closely in tune. I checked the Viterbi website and uh, I was participating in the on-campus recruiting program at USC and I got a summer internship uh, at ExxonMobil. So I'm going to be down in Houston, Texas, hopefully doing reservoir engineering. So it should be a good chance to kind of get my feet wet and make sure that this is what I want to do. Um, I was just perusing the Viterbi website actually and saw that one of my professors had been given uh, grant money to start a new project working on shale gas recovery, um, which is kind of a little forward thinking, progressive, kind of going towards alternative fuel sources. So I just approached him after class one day and asked him if he had a position and he was more than willing to work with me and hook me up with a graduate mentor, a graduate student. So I'm going to be starting that next semester, looking forward to it. The main activity that I'm involved in, in terms of student groups, is the Society of Petroleum Engineers, or SPE as we call it. Uh, I am acting as the treasurer and webmaster. So essentially my responsibilities um, include handling the funds for the chapter. Uh, we try to do a lot of events throughout the course of the semester. One of our kind of keynote things is each year we go to the annual conference uh, for Society of Petroleum Engineers. This past year was in Denver, Colorado. So we try to um, use the money that we get from the national chapter and sponsor student trips there so they can hopefully you know, meet and greet some executives and learn about new technologies that are being applied in the field. When I was first choosing colleges, um, USC definitely stood out just on its kind of on its larger scale. You know, the school atmosphere is great. There's a lot of school pride, um, and there's also a very diverse student population. You know, you can walk to and from classes, and you're going to cross paths with cinema majors and science majors and business majors. So you kind of meet a, a large variety of people. At the same time, one of the reasons I really chose USC was within Viterbi, you kind of get small school attention. So they're going to host. You know, special career fairs specifically targeted to you where they're going to bring in you know, engineering companies and just all the activities they have. So it's kind of a mixture of the, the big school atmosphere with small school attention. Uh, as an engineer, I'm almost a little afraid to admit this, but my favorite class so far has probably been Writing 340, which is a technical writing class. And the reason why was the final end of the year project was very uh, hands-on. 
what we did was we worked with a local community service organization to try and um, kind of bring about ec economic revitalization to uh, an area of Los Angeles. So for the final project, we had to develop a slideshow and it was essentially like a sales pitch to these, to these organization representatives, trying to tell them why your idea was going to help out the area. So it was a uh, very good class and I think it definitely taught uh, effective communication. Hopefully, you know, with this information you have a little bit of a better idea of what petroleum engineering entails. And I know I'm really glad I decided to come to USC, so hopefully I'll see you all in the fall. Fight on.